Hey guys, so it's currently a Sunday. I woke up a short while ago, had breakfast, and now I'm at my desk ready to start my uh, day. Um, obviously, because it's a weekend right now, hopefully I should be able to get more work done since there's no online school, and I thought I'd just document my typical day, see how it goes, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So I decided to start off with a bit of chemistry homework since my teacher gave me quite a big assignment to complete with not a lot of time to do it so I thought I'd try and make a bit of a dent in that. I then decided to move on to doing a bit of psychology so I started off with doing the schizophrenia chapter because I felt like I hadn't actually gone through that in a while and so I wanted to quickly revisit it. I didn't spend too long on that and after that I moved on to conformity so I was basically looking at some of the more common studies like Asher's study or Zimbardo study, things that would make a bit more sense if you do psychology A level. Uh, that chapter isn't too difficult but I decided to just fill in any gaps in my knowledge and do a bit of essay planning on it since I didn't want to waste time writing out the whole essay. I also realised that there was part of the textbook that I didn't really remember going through so I decided to make a few active recall questions for it. I added them onto my spreadsheet and then transferred them into Anki so that at a later time I could go through it and make sure that I commit it to memory. So the way I tend to go about a typical study day is I'll study my subjects in pairs. So I study four A levels, I study biology, chemistry, maths and psychology and the way I go about it is I pair up psychology with chemistry and I pair up maths with biology and that way I can essentially get a balance of all my subjects and make sure I'm going through most of the content I need to. Now of course if there's an important assignment due the next day or a deadline I need to meet then I might sometimes break away from this timetable but generally speaking I feel like I stick to it quite well. And so yeah, the remainder of this segment is just going to be me going through some of the mark schemes and adding a few comments on some of the essay plans I made. Okay, so I did about two hours of uh, psychology um, and chemistry a bit of a mix. It's currently 10.30, so I'm going to get up from studying, take a bit of a break, because at 11 o'clock I have a meeting with one of my mentors, and we're going to be doing some back and forth interview prep um, just to get me ready for any medical school interviews. Hopefully, yeah, it's useful and... So yeah, just going to take a bit of a breather, relax a bit before that and then after that hopefully I can get back to work and um, being a bit more productive. So I'm actually quite lucky in that my mentor is an orthopaedic foot and ankle surgeon and since I'm applying for medicine, having him kind of look over my application process and help me prepare is really really useful. So he agreed to do some uh, mock interviews with me and we did two interviews. One was with his daughter who studies um, law at UCL and the other was obviously with him. The one with his daughter was more around ethical questions and scenario based questions whereas the one with him involved more scientific questions largely interpreting graphs which is something I didn't really feel too confident with so it was really nice to be able to go through that and get some feedback. After that we kind of just had a brief little chat um, going through some of the things I did well, some of the things I could improve on and I kind of just took a few notes on that one to help me with my um, future interviews but also because I'd really love to maybe do a video on just how to prepare for medical school interviews and what are some things that are really useful to keep an eye on or be cautious of. So I decided to sit down for another hour or so to do a bit more work. So I started off with updating what I call my retrospective revision planner. And it's basically a way I keep track of all my revision using an app called Notion. Essentially, I rate how I did on the conformity question that I did, leave a few notes for myself and decide when I'm next going to revisit the topic based on how well I did. And so come the next time I have to actually study it, it's a lot easier for me to quickly get on with it and not have to waste time deciding what to do. 
I then spent just a bit of time looking through some 16 marker exam question answers so that I could look out for certain things to think about including in my actual 16 markers. I then used the same revision timetable on Notion to have a look at some of the things I've recently gone through in chemistry and so I decided to do some acid based titration just following along with what the planner was telling me I needed to work on and I realized I hadn't gone through it in a while so I decided to re-attempt the topic and do some questions I did in the past that I'd gone wrong after which I just wrote up another quick summary about how I did on the questions and any room for future improvement Now, just quickly kind of carrying on from the last study block, I finished at around 1.30 and decided to make something to eat. During the afternoon is typically when I take my longest break and I ended up sitting back down to work at around 3.40 to do another hour of work. Between that time, I had something to eat, sat down and relaxed a bit and this is typically when I end up going through my phone, watching some YouTube or catching up with um, my friends. I find that if I don't give myself this time to cool down and just relax a bit, then it kind of just has a knock-on impact later on in the day and I can't get as much work done. I then started off this study block by continuing on with the chemistry homework that I started earlier on. Like I mentioned before, it's quite a lot of work so I thought the more of it I can get done during this day, the less I'll have to do later on. And rather than sitting down and doing it all in one block, I find it's a lot more effective to just break it up and kind of interleave it with all my other revision. And that way it kind of sticks in my memory a lot longer. After that I went back to doing more psychology and this time I decided to do some exam questions on biopsychology. Now this is basically just the study of the structure of the brain and how different functions are localised to different areas. I was actually meant to review this chapter quite a while ago but I somewhat fell behind so I decided to try and catch up as much as I could. Luckily I actually quite enjoyed this chapter so I didn't need to motivate myself too much to get on with it. So yeah I kind of just stuck to doing exam questions. I don't really like being passive with my revisions so I tend to avoid just rereading the textbook. I don't take many notes in general and so I found that doing exam questions are the best way for me to really make sure that I'm learning the content and a good way to just make sure I can fill out any holes in my knowledge. So at around 6.25 I sat down at my desk again to start studying and essentially begin my evening block. Ideally I wanted to get back to doing some work at around 5pm and that's usually when I sit back down at my desk but I just felt really tired and so I ended up procrastinating till about 6.25 where I eventually sat down to work and because I was quite tired I kind of told myself that this would be my last study block and so I set the aim of about two hours of solid work so that I could have the rest of the evening off. For a large part of the time I actually was working on my EPQ which is an extended project qualification and this is basically an additional qualification I'm doing on top of my A levels that involves writing a 5000 word dissertation about a chosen topic. Now I chose my topic around medicine and patient care because I'm really passionate about that and I thought it was a really good way to do more research on the topic. I won't bore you too much with it because I know it's quite an unknown qualification to a lot of people and not many schools actually offer it as an option but we basically have what we call a production log which is like a diary that we keep of our entire project and how it's developed over the qualification and so because this forms quite a big part of the grade, I decided to spend some time adding some finishing touches onto that and then sending it to my supervisor so I could maybe get some feedback on how to move forward with it. We also have to give a presentation about our chosen topic to an audience and so I decided to work on some of my PowerPoint slides for that just so I wouldn't have to spend as much time on it later on. 
after that i decided that i'd knock off a few things on my to-do list and this is typically what i end up doing when i'm a bit more tired i try to get through some of the lower energy tasks i have left so i was just doing a favor for a friend they basically got an offer from ucl and needed to fill out some additional applications and so they just wanted me to quickly read through it and give them any feedback or make any changes that I felt would really help them improve their application. There was no actual real rush to get it done now. They told me that any day before Tuesday would be alright with them so I had a good four days to sort it out. But I usually end up forgetting small things like these and come Monday when school starts up again I didn't want to accidentally leave it too last minute and then have to stress out too much about it. So I thought why not just get it done now and that's exactly what I did. After that I decided to go through my Anki deck. I feel like I've been slacking off a little bit with my Anki cards and they've really started to build up so I decided to get through as much of it as I can. I plan to maybe dedicate a few hours to Anki one day just to get through all the cards and make up for the days that I've missed. I feel like typically I'm quite on top of my cards but every so often I kind of go through an Anki burnout phase where I really struggle to get through all of my cards and then they end up piling up and it takes me more time to finish them. I also tend to save Anki for the evening because it's relatively low effort. Making the Anki cards are the hard part but going through them is not too difficult because Anki does all the work for you and so that's why I don't like to do it in the morning when I have energy to do potentially more draining tasks. Funnily enough I actually usually do my Anki cards quite laid back sometimes I'll even put my feet on my desk and just sit back and get through as many cards as I can but for the sake of the video I kind of had to try and look like a decent human being be a bit more organized and have some etiquette and with that I have reached the end of my full day's worth of studying. I definitely had a lot of fun recording and making this video and I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, don't be afraid to drop a like and leave some feedback, let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more content then just subscribe and hopefully I can bring you guys some really good quality videos in the future.